Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again. I'm going to show you exactly what to do to refill your CLI 42 cards for your Pro 100. Now, from the very beginning, once you have used one of your cards and it is just low, in other words, this chamber has gone empty, at that point you should remove it. That means that the sponge has not lost any more ink than necessary. Once the liquid portion no longer can feed that sponge, that's the time to take it out. There will be approximately 3 to 4 ml left saturating that sponge. If you continue to use that, this is assuming you're going to want to refill these carts, you will have to remove them before the sponge begins to become empty. In other words, ink will start be drawing out and air will come in through this vent and start filling up the pores of the upper portion of the sponge. And you want to avoid that unless you, like I said, if you're not going to refill them, then by all means use them until they're declared empty. But if you're going to refill them, please follow this advice. As soon as this goes empty, remove it, modify it. By modifying, I mean you take an X-Acto knife and you just cut around the periphery. You will see this. It will be very clearly delineated as a little tiny circle underneath this label. You're going to cut around it, remove the little bit of plastic, and you'll be presented by a little ball. When you buy most kits for refilling sponge type cannon carts, you will be given some sort of little screw or a needle or something similar to this. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to screw this into the ball and I just do it at a slight angle and once you get about two or three threads you basically just lever it off and it just slips right out. And then you take your 5 30 seconds drill and by hand if need be you're going to drill out the remaining bottom little step, the little step or seat that holds that little factory ball in place. That way you'll be able to insert a cannon plug. If you do not do that, the cannon plug will not pass through that little seat, which is a slightly narrower diameter than the hole, the factory hole. You will not be affecting this hole. You merely want to enlarge that bottom little seat and you've seen me do that in previous videos and precision colors has specific videos on it as well as octoinkjet.co.uk in England they also have videos telling you exactly and showing you exactly how to perform that option it is not that difficult guys and if you are if you're an older person who have um, maybe some problems with your hands just get you know your young grandson to help you they'll be able to do that in fact I'm developing arthritis on my hands and you know someday I will not be able to do that as well anyway once you have this thing prepared now you may want to go ahead and flush out the remnants of the original or not simply you just fill it to the top since this is already saturated you should be able to fill it to the top plug it and you're good to go you'll be ready to go ink will not migrate into the sponge because the sponge is already saturated optimally now if the sponge is a little bit under saturated yeah ink will migrate and bring that saturation point up to correct levels or operational levels so you want to go ahead and refill it to the top and plug it in and of course you have already reset it with the resetter back here but we're going to go ahead and assume that you have not, or we're going to go ahead and assume that maybe you went and bought some empties from eBay. They are found rarely, but they are still found for about 3 to as high as $10 each plus shipping. So they're, they're pretty precious. So if you can find them, go ahead and grab them. It's better than having to buy brand new carts in order to get the secondary set. So let's go ahead and just reset this. We'll move this out of the way. The best resetter to use is a USB type resetter such as this. These are excellent because they provide a constant source of voltage, unlike the so-called battery powered ones, which once the battery starts going weak, they may not be uh, delivering the voltage that is required to give you a full uh, write onto the chip, a code write onto the chip. So we'll go ahead and orient the chip so that it's located toward the little the little pins located here. I'm sorry I was blocking that. We'll go ahead and slide the card 
and you'll see the little flash okay there we go and then it'll just stay on you leave it on for about five seconds this is not the type that will actually go blank on you in other words that you'll get the solid red and go blank it'll just stay on constantly you just gotta wait about five seconds and that's it now you are reset so now we can just move that aside so of course this came from eBay it's got ink in it it may be dried it may have come with one of these or not I recommend you get some of these from Precision Colors they're very nice to have because they provide you a very secure and convenient way to seal the bottom of the cart like so and you have seen me do that before so we'll go ahead and plug that up turn it around for our convenience remove the plug and now we're just going to refill this cart now this cart has been flushed by me and allowed to dry for several days and it should be able to absorb ink readily now one of the little tricks that you can do if you suspect that possibly down here in the sponge area which is the most important area of the sponge this is where ink is going to be delivered to the printhead you want to make sure that ink is actually able to saturate the bottom of that sponge and as you can see there's a little bit of a remnant of cyan ink but that's fine no problem what you should do before you begin on a card that has been flushed out is to just dribble a couple of little drops of the ink right directly in that port like so and as you can see it is saturating the bottom exit portion of the sponge now you can go ahead and install the little clip and proceed to fill the liquid portion now you saw me use one of these bottles and I highly recommend you get these this beats the living daylights out of having to use syringes and having to insert them into these ink bottles and possibly contaminate them so the first thing we're going to do and I should have done this before I began but I actually did it before the video started we're going to clean the needle with an alcohol swab as well as you can we'll let that dry for a couple of seconds We'll blow on it okay so now we can begin to fill the cart we will insert and start dribbling ink inside that liquid port and you will see how the ink is migrating through the sponge as we proceed now when you have a perfectly flushed cart such as this it's going to take about a day worth of it standing you see how the ink level is dropping on the liquid reservoir and it is rising on the sponge once it reaches the top that'll be in now some people say go ahead and plug the vent with your finger and keep adding ink don't worry about those little seemingly blank areas those will fill in after about a 24 hour rest period and you saw that ink wanted to come out of the top now there's some little bubbles of air there we'll just let that rest for a little bit and not worry about it for the time being so what you could do at this point is just simply let the card rest without the plug in place that will allow ink to just freely migrate into the sponge if I was to remove this clip it, there would be ink dripping everywhere so we'll just let it rest for a while now let's assume that several minutes have passed you're going to go ahead and give it a little tap maybe some little bubbles are still up in the top there we will insert the needle and just top it off a little bit some people say do not go more than three quarters of the way well you know I like to have a nice full card and I have never had any problems with any kind of uh, ink flow problems by filling it nearly to the top we're going to plug in the fill hole and we can put this card aside and it'll be ready to go for your Pro 100 whenever needed. Now, let me show you something. This little smudge was there from last night. I got no ink on me. I have no ink anywhere else. So you saw that this is not really a messy process. A lot of people are terrified of doing this. 
it is not that messy folks if you just take it easy and follow a, a, a good workflow and you should have no problem so you saw how long it took me to do that actually I spoke longer than it, than it actually would take to do without me flapping my gums all right that is it as you saw it was very easy to do and this will save you tons people because this takes probably from a dead start or a brand new flush cart it might take 14 to 15 ml of ink now this is what four ounces this is about 125 ml and this costs around twelve dollars maybe even less I forget what the price actually is it may be like eight dollars I'm not sure you have to look on the website so you do the math and you can figure out how much money you will save the Pro 100 will not be an expensive printer to run if you're using this method okay so that will allow you to print to your heart's content without having to worry about the cost of ink concentrate on your papers now because this ink is excellent and once you are using nothing but precision colors ink and using their profiles for your printer you will be good to go and you will be producing outstanding outstanding prints okay now earlier on I reported that I created a patreon site for my channel and this is a donation site where you become a patron and you donate whatever you want per month and as little as a dollar and that's fine if you just want to do a dollar and that then goes directly to the channel instead of having other middle men remove quite a bit as a fee so this is the most efficient way to donate to the channel or donate to any anybody's channel that has content that you find valuable so please go to www.patreon that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash j toolman and you will reach me there you can become a patron and just donate whatever amount you want a month and I will really truly appreciate that it's a lot better than doing it through Google I just found that out so I appreciate what everybody has done already for the channel and believe me this is only the beginning it's gonna get better and better and better and it's gonna be probably the best in the world that is my goal and to provide the best up-to-date information and demonstrations and questions answered for you guys that you will ever find in YouTube or any other venue so I want to thank you once again please subscribe please share please like and until the next time happy printing and bye bye